up queen divas so today i am going to show you how to remove the wax off of your apple before dipping um candy apples so the best way to remove wax off your apple is just plain boiling water you know you don't need all that other mess baking soda lemon juice mm -mm. so let's get started here so first you need to inspect your apple make sure you don't have any dents or bruises before you put it into the boiling water go ahead and dip your apple with a spoon for six seconds no more one two three four five and six take your apple out place it on a paper towel i dip my apples one at a time don't put no more than one apple in the pot at a time so i go ahead and get my next apple i inspect the apple for dents and bruises so let's get the apple i look around the apple i make sure it's okay and i dip it into the hot boiling water with the spoon for six seconds one two three four five and six i take my apple out and i place it on a paper towel so once you're done dipping all of your apples into the hot boiling water you want to take a paper towel and wipe all of your apples down you want to continue wiping your apples down until you don't see any white residue or any sap come out your apples for two days after two days then you can make your candy for your candy apples and dip your apples into the candy and you should have a perfect candy apple now during those two days your apple will turn brown so don't get worried or frustrated that's normal a lot of people ask why do you only boil your apples for six seconds well for one when you bite into a candy apple, you're supposed to bite into a crisp candy apple, not a mushy candy apple. So when my customers bite into my apple, I want my apple to not only be good, but I want that apple in the inside of the candy to also be crisp. So I like to wipe my apples down right away once they come out the boiling water. This prevents all that wax buildup. It prevents my apple from turning white with all that white residue, which is wax. And to me, if you let that apple sit and let that wax build back up on the apple, it takes a longer time to get the wax off the apple. So let me show you how my apple looks when I first take it out of the boiling water and wipe it down versus letting the apple sit and letting that white residue build up which is wax on the apple so i'm taking my paper towel and i'm wiping the apple down i am trying to wipe all of that wax off the apple you keep wiping down your apple with a paper towel. You do not have to wet your paper towel. Just keep wiping it down with a dry paper towel. I am making sure there is no wax still left on the apple. And this is what your apple should look like once you take it out the water and wipe it down. Now you may still have a little wax on your apple, but it's easier to take it off now instead of waiting until later because the wax gets harder to wipe off so let me show you here okay so this is an apple that's been sitting and i did not wipe it down right after i took it out the boiling water but it's harder to get the wax off So, like I said earlier, it's best to go ahead and wipe your apple down as soon as it come out the boiling water. Because it takes a really long time to get this wax off 
and you have to get this wax off for two days. You have to let these apples sit for two days. And during those two days, you have to wipe off the wax and the sap. So it makes it harder if you don't wipe the apple down right away. So this is, um, I mean, it gets clean. The wax comes off, but it's much harder. So this is it. So all you need is boiling water and my directions. Hey, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And thank you so much for watching my channel. I hope this helps.